Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So recently I informed you all in my telegram group that I am in discussion with two IT companies for the internship opportunities for the students who are enrolled in batch 7. So those talks are those discussion has been completed and now we can confirm that we can have the internship opportunities. Now the reason that we are adding this new feature in upcoming batches is because people who are students uh, like college students, final year students, freshers or even people who are not having job right now. So you can utilize this certificate of internship to showcase your own experience that okay I have knowledge on these kind of tools and topics and I have worked on these kind of tasks for this company as an intern. So that will be really useful if you are going for uh, interviews because when it comes to freshers then uh, the best way to showcase your experience is the internship certificate. So that is the reason that we have planned to include this in the upcoming batch 7. Now, to understand in detail what is the exact process and exact criteria to get the certificate uh, of internship after the course completion, let me explain you. Now, before we get started with that part, let me tell you that batch 7 of DevSecOps and Cloud DevOps is starting from November 2nd. So as of now, we are having few seats left. If you are interested to learn from scratch, you can enroll. Okay. The highlights of this course is that, as I told you, you'll be getting an internship certificate once qualified. Also, uh, in addition to internship certificate, you'll be getting a completion certificate of the course. Plus, there will be total 10 projects that we are going to implement hands-on, which is going to be really useful if you are going for interviews. Talking about the content access, so this time I have decided that I'll be making the uh, access of this whole content of the course for three years. That means for three years, you'll be having the access to all the contents, right? So all the detailed syllabus and all the detailed information about this course will be in the description below. You can uh, check it out by clicking on the link. Okay. Now with that being said, let me explain you how you can get the certificate. So team batch 7 of DevSecOps and Cloud DevOps is starting from 2nd of November. If you're interested to learn everything from scratch to advance, you can enroll. As of now, enrollments are open, but it will be closed very soon because the course is starting from 2nd of November. Talking about the projects within the course, so total 15 projects will be there, out of which 10 projects we are going to implement hands-on. In those 10 projects, there will be 4 multi-tier applications with different database. MongoDB, Postgres and MySQL. Then we are going to have microservice based applications. Then we are going to have some full stack application in Java and Python. Then we are going to have Kubernetes monitoring project to monitor Kubernetes worker node and to monitor any application deployed within Kubernetes. Then we are going to have a service mesh with Istio project. Then we are going to have GitOps project and there will be few more mini projects. So these will be hands on that we are going to implement. There will be five projects. These are corporate level projects which I am going to explain you so that you can understand day to day activities and different kind of architecture of projects that may exist in companies. This is going to help you understand and this is going to help you uh, easily answer questions with respect to projects in your interviews. Okay, so yeah, check out all the details of this course which, which will be in the description and you can enroll because we are starting it from 2nd of November. Now talking about the internship certificate. So as I told ki in this batch 7 we have added this new feature for internship certificate. So it's not like that ki if you enroll in the course immediately you will be giving certificate. No, there is a proper criteria out of which we need to select who will be getting certificate. So let me explain you. First of all, we need to make sure that uh, in batch 7, you have completed 95% of course. So once course is completed, you need to start your own implementation. You need to start watching videos. And once you have completed 95% of the course, then next step would be to complete an assignment. So there will be an assignment given to you, uh, which will be containing around 10 tasks. Those tasks will be covering whatever you have uh, learned within the course. And if you are able to implement this assignment successfully, then final step would be a short interview for you for the internship opportunity and and i am sure that once if you have completed 95 percent of the course easily and like you can qualify for the interview okay and after that for uh, two months there will be some certain task will be given to you which you need to complete within two months so that those tasks are going to be real time tasks that can be added in your resume as well using which you can showcase your own experience and in two months once you complete all those tasks then you will be giving the internship certificate okay and this certificate you can use in your resume you can mention whenever you are going for interviews you can mention very clearly that i have completed the internship certificate the best part about this internship certificate is that the training period of batch 7 will also be included and mentioned in the certificate as well that means in total you are going to have around four uh, months mentioned in your internship certificate that you have done 
okay but again i'm saying this is the most important part because this will make you eligible for the internship opportunity so make sure that you are watching the videos you are implementing whatever is being taught in the batch 7 okay so yeah they make a note of this and make sure to uh, like if you have not yet enrolled make sure to enroll again i'm saying this this opportunities is first of all it's going to be for uh, freshers it's going to be for students who are in college and thirdly it's going to be for people who are not having job so if you are not having job you can easily uh, like use this internship certificate for going for uh, going to interviews okay so yeah that will be all for today and again batch 7 details and detailed syllabus of batch 7 will be added in the description you can check it out